Hey guys! Um, I know it's been a long time since I've recorded anything, but I thought I'd jump back in with uh, kind of an easy one here. This is Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. Um, I chose this one for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, the Aladdin live-action movie just came out, so I'm like, uh, Aladdin is kind of relevant again. Um, second of all, it's kind of a, it's a short game. Um, I could probably beat it this will probably be like a two-parter at most. It'd be like a one-parter if I did a long video, but I'll probably split it into two. And, um... Tiny, you stay down there. Already I've got a cat that must come up here. Let's get started here. And three, um... So there's a... Man, I forgot how hard it is to game and talk at the same time. <laughs> They're, they've announced a, um... Switch compilation, I think it's coming on PS4 and Steam and stuff too, but it has Aladdin and Lion King uh, bundled on it, which makes sense because the two live action movies that just came out are, are both of those, so. Um, but the thing is, surprising maybe nobody, the Aladdin that's included on it is the Genesis version, not the Super Nintendo one by Capcom. Um, and so I figured I would go back and play the Super Nintendo game because. I'm one of those people. I really believe the the Super Nintendo game is I hate these words superior, but superior to the uh, Genesis version. Oh, I gotta catch this guy. Oh, good, there we go. Oh, ah, uh, get out of here with that. Oh, I probably need to jump off him to get to that. Levels are pretty short. I think there's like... Oh, wait. Right, I got the bonus. If you catch this scarab, you get a bonus. Uh, I'm hoping for some extra guys. I mean, they're all good as long as I don't land on the heart one, which just refills your energy, which... They usually give you plenty of energy uh, items in the game anyway. Two up would be nice. One up would be... Don't give me a heart. Okay. Ah, oh, so close to the two up. All right, well, I got an extra continue. I mean, extra continue is good, except that I hope to not get a game over at all. Um, so I think when you get a game over, there's an item you'll get pretty early on in the game. Uh, it's this piece of cloth, and uh, is it here? This might be it. Nope, it's apples. Uh, the cloth lets you glide, and Makes a lot of the game a lot easier, but it also makes the end boss a lot easier. Here it is, yeah. So now if you hit the shoulder button, you glide. Uh, which means you can really do a lot of maneuvering around in the air. So yeah, I guess I'll talk about the fact that... Uh, I feel like, to this day, like, the Genesis Aladdin is considered the superior version. And there's a good reason for that. As everyone knows now, um, the animation uh, that was in Aladdin on Genesis was done by, I think, ten of the Disney animators actually did animation on the game. So it has super smooth animation. Really, really good. Ah, uh, I knew it was going to happen. Don't laugh at me. Uh, and there's no doubt, like, the... That animation cycle looks gorgeous. Way better than this. But, gameplay-wise... Whoa, geez. Gameplay-wise, I feel like this game has it beat. Um, I know there's people that like both versions, but to me, this feels a little more true to the movie, uh, in the sense that, you know, in, in the Genesis version, it's a lot more action-heavy. You're wielding a scimitar. Um... And this one, you don't get a weapon. Uh, you've got the apples, which can stun people, but it's really all parkour stuff, which is true to the movie. That's what he did. You know, he's always running and jumping and swinging, and this feels much closer to what the Aladdin property is. Um, so yeah, the, the sprite isn't quite as big, and the animation isn't as smooth. Um, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a fine trade-off. 
Uh, also, as far as depth, like, looking at something like this, the backgrounds here look gorgeous. Aladdin, he's smaller, but he's really well shaded. Um, just a limitation on the, the Genesis, like, it had a very... Um, oh, I should go get that bread. It had a smaller color palette. Which it was just, I mean, that's just the, the system. It couldn't display as many colors at once, so... The color depth isn't as good, there's more of a gradient to colors, uh, or a flat kind of coloring. I think this just looks a little bit better, but that's just personal taste. I mean, what am I saying? It's, it's all personal taste, whether or not you like one version or the other. But I just feel like this, to me, feels more true to the game, and it's more fun. Uh, I know there's still people that go both ways uh, about it. I think we're getting near the boss level. Oh, okay. Didn't even need that bread. Whatever. Now I need the bread. That was stupid. <laughs> I think there's one here. Yeah. Okay. It's funny both the Super Nintendo and Genesis game have, like, apples as projectiles. So this guy we just gotta hit a couple times, I think. I think we get him to swing a sword, maybe? Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was stupid. I gotta get my timing better on this thing. Man. That was a pretty sad performance. Hey, we meet Jasmine! Password uses that weird... Super Nintendo did that a lot, where it was like, instead of, like, numbers and letters, they did pictures, which is really hard to write down sometimes. At least these are, these are easier. It's only four characters. And now they've met, and we'll skip the story here. We know how Latin goes. Where are we? Cave of Wonders? Cave of Wonders. Oh my... Oh no! It doesn't refill your health. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can do the first jump here. Oh, man. Sad. Mm. Didn't get it. That's okay. Now I don't need that health, but whatever. Or that health. Yeah, I rushed it too much there. Got him. And a 1-up, which I need. If I'm gonna keep playing like I've been playing. Hmm. Oh god. So the red gems give you... Something uh, down? Okay, I'll do. Oh, -ho. where's he going? Where are you going? Something back here? No. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, so you do like a big swipe, and then I can jump on you. It's carpet. All right, let's see. I could really use some one ups because I am not playing uh, my best here. <laughs>
Don't get the hearts. Get the two up. No. All right, another continue. <sighs> well, I'm rolling in continues. I could be wrong, but I think so. There's a couple of spots where you can regain this cloth thing. But I don't think the last level lets you do it, so I don't want to get to the last level and have to continue. Dang it. Oh, I didn't jump off him well enough. Alright, let's go. Where does this take me? I can actually use some energy, so that's fine. Oh, I don't want to kill myself here. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh-oh. That's a shame. Pretty much back in the day, anything Capcom made that was Disney related was just awesome. They had like Chip and Dale and DuckTales and um, Darkwing Duck. They were all good. Uh, and that continued on Super Nintendo. I think the NES games are remembered more, but uh, you had Aladdin, you had. Uh, uh, what other Super Nintendo games I did? Oh, all three of the um, uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Magical Quest games, those are all really good. Alright, there better have been something worth it up here. What is up here? Okay, well, I gotta one up. Gotta keep collecting those, because man, I'm making a lot of dumb mistakes. Now I gotta jump down here without killing myself. Alright, this looks like a good spot to do it. And not too long ago they did that Disney Afternoon collection, uh, which I'm still mad never came to Switch, but uh, I really think they should do another one uh, that has all the th all three of the Mickey uh, Magic Quest games, and Aladdin, and... Oh, there's that gem that Abu's gonna take. What else do they have? Oh, Little Mermaid uh, on the NES, that was really good. Uh, good but short. Ah, uh, jeez. I got the lamp. And pin down and haboo, no. Oh, now I gotta do this escape. This this can get tricky because I feel like I think this one has like one hit kills when you're trying to get out of the cave. Which sort of the Genesis version, the, the cave, the escape scene is kind of similar in both. Alright, oh, I'm going to make so many mistakes here, I just know it. Just gotta play it safe and, and keep cool. Not going for it. Not going for it. Not going for him. So the Aladdin Disney movie is still one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, you know, some of the impressions and stuff don't hold up as well, you know. <laughs> He's doing Rodney Dangerfield and stuff, and no one's really gonna be into that now, I don't think, but... Uh, it's still funny, it's still animated, the music is really good. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, I saw this, uh, saw it in theaters when it came out, I'm sure, like, everyone did. This thing was so huge. Oh, it's weird, I didn't catch the ledge. That's okay. We're making it, we're making it away. Come on. Come on. Did it. I forget if there's more of that or not. It might just be the escape next. Come on, extra lives. I'm making so many dumb mistakes. Come on. Stop. It's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. Okay, I don't know what the genie is. But yeah. Ooh, I'll take it. I just gotta worry about falling to death. Alright, here we go, here we go. Gotta have a fast paced escape scene. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Okay, wow, that was like a thousand times easier than the Genesis version of the escape scene. Uh, not complaining, though. So now I forget, uh, oh, next we go in the, inside the lamp. We get our friend like me. So this one's, uh, this level starts getting a lot harder with the platforming, but I really like the, I mean, it's just so wacky looking. Uh, the Inside the Genie's Lamp, there's a, there's a level where you go inside the Genie's Lamp in the Genesis version too, and it's a lot darker uh, color palette wise. It just seems a little less fun. Um, I don't know. Yeah, besides the wonderful sprite animations, I mean, that's the one thing I'll definitely give the Genesis version, but to me this one's just uh, better in, in most ways. Uh, oh, help me out here, Genie. I mean, it is your lamp. You could, you could give me a much easier you know, platforms here, but ah, oh, shoot, I ran the wrong way. Oh, I did it again. Oh, jeez. Little touch and go there. Nice. I feel like uh, when it came to uh, the two Aladdin games, it's weird because if you were around during the, the console war era, um, the big guns that Genesis had were Aladdin and Jurassic Park. Those were the two big ones. Um, and I will give them, like, I think Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo has some some merit. Oh god. Oh shoot. Um. Oh yes. Okay. Um. But the big problem with that one is, besides being slower paced, and I think people wanted something more actiony, which is understandable. It had no no save, no password, and the game's way too long to beat in one sitting. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Stupid thing. Um, so I've still never beat the Super Nintendo one, even though I like it a lot. 
Ooh, what do we got here? Got him. Ah. But I feel like with both of them, um, at least the way, like, it was at my school, like, that whole, like, playground war of which system was better. Like, it was just a given. Aladdin and Genesis, Aladdin and, and Jurassic Park were just better on Genesis. They won. Um, and I believe that, too, like, because you saw the graphics, you saw the way it looked, at least on commercials on TV. And you're like, wow, yeah, that one is the better version. Um, but, uh... It was never really discussed, like, is it the better version? I feel like back then, it was just, you know, it was. People just always said it was. Ah, they continue. I guess it's good. Also, in addition to the the gameplay not being what I prefer on Genesis, the, um... The level design has very much the... I guess you call it European platformer design. Uh, it became really popular in Super Nintendo, and I've heard it described before, and I, I agree with it, um, airplane hangar levels, which is really big levels that sprawl in every direction, and you have no idea which way to go. Um, and that's very true of that game. I feel like... Um, Especially, like, it's not just left to right, it's left to right, up, down. The one I remember really starting to feel that way is when you get into the, the jail cell level in the Genesis version. You're just going every which way, you can't tell what's background and what's foreground. And, um, I just find it a little confusing to navigate. Uh, it never really feels like you're making a lot of progress when a level is designed that way. But that's just how they, they kind of got back then. Um, what other games? Like, all of the Looney Tunes games, or most of them, like... There was a Taz game on SNES, there was a, a Roadrunner game, there was, um... I think a Daffy Duck game that did it too, but those games definitely, like... They just got these huge sprawling levels, and it never felt like you made any progress, because you're going every which way. And the problem was they all looked... The backgrounds looked identical. Um, so you just never knew, like, were you going the right way or anything. Oof. A little risky there. Uh... Gotta be smarter about it. Gotta play a little smarter. jump on top of him instead of hitting the thing underneath of him. That. That's good. Oh shoot. <laughs> Forgot that my platform was going to fall. Not going for it. Oh, and of course, another game that did that airplane hangar style, um, Earthworm Jim, which, um, who's the guy that made it? Something Perry. Uh, but the guy that would design Earthworm Jim worked on Aladdin for Genesis and Lion King. And I think it shows you have these sprawling levels that become like, where do I go? <laughs> and then we get, for some reason, the Egyptian level. Um, so out of left field here. I don't know why they... <laughs> I've always thought this was a weird choice. I mean, it's a cool level, it's nicely designed, it has some neat 
uh, gameplay elements to it. But it just does not fit, it's so weird. I don't need that. I need that. Ah, oh, no! Come back! No! Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh man, that was close. Why'd I do that? Short level. I always thought if they needed another stage, like, instead of Egyptian levels, there's a part near the end of the game where he gets blasted to, uh, like, the Arctic. I'm like, they could have made, like, a snow ice stage instead of Egyptian pyramid. But, whatever, it's fine. Those part, those things that open and close, like, this already has a Prince of Persia vibe to it, but those open close spikes really feel like Prince of Persia. Ah, oh, shoot. Nice. Alright. Just hoping it was energy. Ah. Oh. Not cool. Ooh, full energy. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Cool, cool. Okay. I just realized I should probably uh, break it here if I'm going to knock it in the two episodes. I feel like the second part's going to be pretty short compared to this one, but uh, I guess we'll stop here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.